You know something, baby dolls? Nice. In Half-Life... The trick. In Half-Life 2, Episode right 2... At the beginning of the game, has an old rock in we've the all forest. felt the horror, hoping for the, day when he the uncertainty the and terror Black Mesa. of being <laughs> stalked <laughs> by the <laughs> Combine <laughs> Hunter, haven't we? <laughs> Very eerie and sinister the creature is, as it watches us from high vantage points. As we're unaware of its intentions, as it grows menacingly upon us. I'll keep watch out here. Star swing goes with its every movement. Ooh. Appearing in places where there's human bodies hanging. Rather terrifyingly, as we head under the ear, and as we emerge, it attacks our friends, our friend here, and kicks rocks in our face, trying to bury us under the building as it stomps upon her like that. But. What if I told you that we didn't have to be terrorised like that? What if I told you that we could make a kind of preemptive? What if I told you that we could make a preemptive strike against it? Even though we're technically unarmed with only our gravity gun here to defend us. Possible, you might say. No, not at all. We can show it that we won't be bullied. That we won't be harassed. Oh, the stupid crow. Stupid cr crow knocked the uh, rock in my gravity guns more. In my gravity guns more and stopped me from perpetrating the ultimate preemptive strike against that stalkerish combine stalker which is the bane of our early existence in this Half-Life 2 Episode 2 game Oh, I was too low that time even though this crow didn't manage to um, knock it from my gravity gun. Although I still tried, didn't it? Because I think there's some kind of a conspiracy theory going on here. And that the crows are secretly in league with the Combine. And the Combine hunters, for that matter. In their efforts to kill us. And stop us from saving the world. Oh, that wasn't the result I was hoping for. Even though it looked like a hit, Sonny Jim, that wasn't it. That wasn't the result that I wanted. It's all again. We'll do this. Because I will manage it this time. What I want. I always get what I want. Oh, just sailed off to the side of him. This time we will get it for sure. Because each time I get closer and closer, don't I? Yes, let's go now to hit it. Oh, right, we just... It just hit the lip of the building that time. 
It hit the lip of the building roof, didn't it? That's like in basketball when you try to get a three-point shot, but the basketball just hits the rim of the basket rather than going into the actual basket. Or oh, again on the rim of the building's ceiling. I will get it though. That's for sure. Because I'm the greatest. Now I jump for speed. Oh, it just went over its shoulder. Of course, it's harder to do it with OCD as well. And anyone who's seen my building, my videos, knows I suffer from OCD quite terribly a lot of the time. That girl had just pretty much hit me in the face and didn't hurt. Made me look a bit prettier. Ah, say, I hit it that time. And you know I hit it because it made a pain sound, didn't it? And it sparked as well. So we have the satisfaction of knowing but even though it will continue to terrorize us because it's quite a tenacious little thing big thing whatever you want to call it but we have the satisfaction of knowing that we scarred it for life didn't we with how that boulder caused all those sparks and the hunter so yeah, go and go ahead and stab Alex Lance Hunter because we know that we triggered that instance, that moment of weakness within you when we made you spark with that boulder. We showed you that we won't be chased, we won't be terrorized, and we won't be hunted. No siree, Bob, we won't. And so now, now that you've witnessed my now that you've witnessed my example of how to save face in those most trying situations. You know that any time you want to learn how to save face in an instance where the odds are stacked against you and you're up against a scary new foe in unexplored surroundings, then you need to come to me, don't you, for the help and advice. DJ the greatest. So yes, until I see you next time, folks, goodbye.